Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to introduce you guys to this really cool add-on for Firefox that I've been using. It's called uh, Rikai-chan. It's right here, Rikai-chan. And you can see it on my toolbar right here. That little circle thing, circle smiley face guy. And the way it works is that uh, if you have, if you're learning Japanese and you have trouble reading kanji or understanding the meaning of kanji, but you can understand hiragana and katakana, like you can read it, then this app is awesome for you. But if you can't read hiragana or katakana, then uh, then I'm telling you right now, do not get this app. It's not for you. It will not help you. It will help you with the meaning, but it, it won't really show you how to uh, read or pronounce the kanji. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let me show you how this works. So if you're on a website, and say the website has some kanji like right here, and you don't know how to read it. What you do is you click on that smiley guy to turn on the app, and then you hover your mouse above the uh, kanji that you want to read, and then it'll give you the reading for the kanji right there. And it also gives you the uh, meaning down below it in English. And another cool feature is that if you hover above a verb, like this one, detekimasu, uh, it uh, it goes into a bit of the conjugation of the verb as well. So uh, down below in the blue box, you can see the f um, the phrase dete kuru. So uh, from this, you find out that dete kuru is the um, root form or the uh, normal form of the verb. And then after that, it says polite. So that polite, what that polite means is that on the web page, you're reading that verb in the polite form. Uh, let me see if I can find another example. Uh, here we go. Alright, uh, this one is koyosuru, to fall in love. So this one, it has the uh, reading of the verb in the blue box, but this one, it is in the uh, root form, the uh, present root form. But after that it says past. So that past means that uh, the uh, actual verb that you have on the uh, web page is in the past form, not the present form. So it works on many pa uh, web pages, not just YouTube. Uh, it's also helpful on Amazon. So if you're on the Amazon web page like so, you can just hover over like whatever, like uh, this word right here. Uh, soji, cleaning, uh, or where's another one right here? Uh, konyu, to purchase or buy. So I found this app is really helpful. And then uh, if you oh if you want to turn it back off again, just uh, click on that uh, yellow yellow face thing. And then when you hover above the kanji, it won't um, it won't show you the meaning. So the app is pretty much off. So you can control whether you want it on or off. And I'll give you guys a link to this web page in the description below. So if you guys are looking for something to help you understand kanji on web pages, I think this will help a lot. Anyway, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys next time.